hi guys welcome back to my channel today this video is not a tutorial it's just a haul I basically just got back from holiday from Paris and there's like so many makeup stores in there and I went into Sephora and Mac and I decided that I'll do a haul of the products I got because I've never done a haul on my channel before so I'm basically going to start with the foundations and then move to the concealers and then just like that as they go on so the first product I'll be showing you guys today is the Mac studio fix fluid foundation it's basically it's not new I just basically switched up the shade like two colors up because I used to be NW50 but now I just got the NW47 and I got a shade lighter because I do not want to be going too hard on my concealer so if the foundation is like blending with my chest chest I don't need to like go <laughs> go too hard on my on my concealer and my highlights so this is it I got it in NW47 and that is what I have on right now that's what I'm wearing today and as you can see it blends well so we good on this side the next foundation I got was this Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation I got this in the shade 11 and this is my first time using any Urban Decay foundation it's the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation and it's literally so light like when I tried it it literally feels like skin like it's like so light of a layer and the reason I got this foundation was because I realized that I don't really need full coverage like that because I'm still going to like layer it with some concealer you know the contour and all that so you don't I don't really need to go too hard on my foundation either that's why I decided to get this one for days I don't really feel like having too much on my face this is very lightweight the third foundation I go with is this makeup forever foundation HD foundation this is really nice like the coverage is very nice too it's not too much it's just all right I know it's meant to be the ultra HD I think it's not that HD for the name it's just okay like it's just an okay foundation I like it Sha, you know for days that you're lazy too this one and the Urban Decay are the lazy days foundation and my MAC foundations are for the I need to go to the extreme foundations and okay next I'm going to show you guys the concealers I got so the first concealer I got was the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW40 and this is what it looks like it comes in like a pump like that it's really nice very nice like the whole of YouTube has been raving about it so I decided to get it and the only thing I do not like about this concealer is the pump like I wish it came with an applicator that you know would just be easy for me to like reach under my eyes this one I have to use either my hand and I hate to use my hand to apply makeup but it's still nice the second concealer I got was this nice Radiant Creamy Concealer. There's a lot of products in this thing. Like, when I used the NARS foundation, I told myself I won't get any other NARS product. But like, everybody was busy raving about this NARS concealer and I decided to try it. And it's really very nice. Like, it's very nice. And yeah, like, and the coverage is really nice. Like, it blends really well and yeah very good like it's way better than the formula of the foundation that was just you know not good the third concealer I got was this Sephora concealer and this is what I got this is what it looks like from inside I already started using it and basically I use this for under my eyebrow and just to conceal my eyebrow I usually use the max studio finish one but I decided to just reach out to this one when I saw it and it's not as thick as the MAC concealer but it's very nice it does the job too you just have to blend it really well because it dries like after some seconds so you have to be really fast 
Next up, I'm going to be showing you guys the eyeshadows I got from Sephora. And the first one I got was this Too Faced, Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has like neutral colors, just very basic colors. Like the transition, I got this palette especially for the transition colors they had because every time I want to use a transition color I basically just reach out to my powders and it reduces my powders very well so I just I was looking for a transition palette basically and then I found this one this middle row you can use it for days where you don't want to go too hard on your transition and you can use this one for days where you want to do like a smoky eye or something and you still have this one she can use to highlight your brow bone and you can use them as a lead color I have them on I have one of the colors I have two actually I have one creamy the lace teddy that's this one that's the one on my lead I don't know if you guys can see that's the one on my lead and then I use the color called chocolate this chocolate color right here and I use that as my transition color and that's all I have on my eyes I'm just going to do like a couple swatches so you guys can see how pigmented they are like can you see that's like without any primer and it's that pigmented so like it's really good so the next color I got was this Sephora eyeshadow in morning mocha this is it and it's just like a really dark brown eyeshadow and you can use this for like your outer V for the days you don't want to use a black color you can use this on your outer V it's I don't know I just like it because it's really pigmented and it was cheap so you know that says a lot I also got like a couple of lashes there's three actually and I got two from Makeup Forever and this one is in number 27 and it reminds me of the Red Cherry Lashes in 43 it's just that it's longer than those ones but it's very very similar to those ones and the second Makeup Forever Lashes I got was in number 14 as you can see they are like slanted and yeah, when you apply it though, it doesn't look as nice as it looks on the package. Like, I didn't like it at all. I got this one from MAC and this ones are really, really nice. I love the length. I just love how it just sits on the lash when I use it. I used it yesterday and it was very nice. Moving on to lip products. From MAC, I got this, this lipstick. That's from their new MAC collection. I like the package a lot because it has this orange thing here and uh, it's not the usual black MAC packaging and it's meant to be orange or peachy I don't know it's meant to be orange but it looks rather pink it looks pink that's what I have on right now as you can see it doesn't even look like the same lipstick it's, it's more on the pink side And it's matte and it's in the color margarita and then I also got some liquid lipsticks from Sephora and I actually got three but I can't find the last one I don't know where I put it and it dries matte by the way in case you don't know number one it's like a red hot red tomato red however you put it color and this one is just like a nice pink color so I'm just going to leave it on right now so when it dries I'll show you guys how it looks and yeah it, it lasts long too because even when I eat it doesn't rub off you know sometimes when you use some liquid lipsticks that are meant to be long lasting and you just eat some oily food everything just goes off so this one's actually last long anyway for eyeliner I got this Sephora smart liner like the shape is literally so funny but like it really helps when you're applying it because you hold it this way and like the product is already in there you don't have to worry about going to deep deep in so you just that's what I have on today I know I'm very particular about my eyeliner stuff you know it's 
not any joking stuff. As you can see, that's what I use today. The flick is like on point. It's very on point. You don't have to tell me, I know. But I'm just telling. But I noticed that it doesn't have so much product in it. So after the first day I got it, I went back and I got like a couple more, you know, to last me a while because this book is just bomb.com. And I also bought some beauty blenders, beauty blenders, booty blenders. Booty, 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 booty. And I got the small ones because it's really hard to like get into your inner eye corner when you're using the bigger ones and I've actually never used the original beauty blender I used to use the real technique sponge the orange one and I'm going to try this one for the first time so hopefully they're good as you guys say so I also got two of these colored liners slash eyeshadows they can be both and they're from Sephora this blue one is in turquoise and this one is in Colgar. They are really pigmented. See? Can you see? How wonderful. <laughs> okay. And this is the color in Colgar. And that's just like one stroke. I didn't like double it up. That's just one stroke. It was like so bomb. I wish I got more colors there. So I got this MAC blush called Pinch Me. Like this blush is actually so nice. It's like a peachy, peachy pink kind of color. It blends really nice. Like it's very nice. It doesn't just stand on the cheek i don't know how to explain it but when you use it it just blends in with your makeup and it's very very subtle very nice it's called pinch me by mac and i also got this sephora sharpener this and it has like the two big holes one big hole and one regular hole and this big hole you can use it to sharpen your jumbo pencils just in case you think your jumbo pencils run out when the first batch first layer and it doesn't so you can use this to sharpen it and then this is the smaller end okay, so the last things i'm going to be showing you guys are these pencils i got from mac and from sephora two pencils from sephora this this one it's in chocolate and this is basically for eyebrows and i don't know probably under your eyeliner if you want and this one is in black and you can use it to line your eyes and it's really pigmented too. I think Sephora, Sephora are really trying with like their pigments because they go hard on that. And I also got this L'Oreal white pencil and this is really good for like your under eye. That's what I used today for my under eye. And it's not as bright as the, so you know sometimes when you use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in milk under your eyes, it's like really, really shocking and alarming. But this one is kind of like a little more subtle than that one. And then from MAC, I got this eyebrow pencil called Stud. And that is what I used for my eyebrows today. But it's really nice and it rolls up. So that's that's very it's very easy to use you don't have to worry about sharpening it all the time you have to be careful when you use this thing because it rolls up but it doesn't roll back down so if you just get it for the first time and then you just do grab grab then go and roll up the whole <laughs> the whole thing to see the length it won't come back down <laughs> and i also got this um eye comb eyeliner kajal from mac it's in graph black it's really nice so at least this one rolls up and down <laughs> so you don't have to <laughs> worry about that yeah, it's still not as dark as small dark, but it's, it's easy to use because of the roll up thing and i got like two or three of those and i also re-upped on small dark as usual because i'm obsessed with this eyeliner it's just it's just basically black and it's really soft it's darker than graph black and the only thing is that it's not a roll up. I wish like they would put the formula in a roll up um, packaging. Yeah. 
so it would be better but I, you can't have everything you know so annoying anyway that's it for this whole video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll probably do a tutorial using some of the products i got and yeah let me just show you guys what the dried out lip liquid lipsticks look like i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like share and subscribe and visit my blog ali.com why are you so obsessed with this